What puzzle game came packed in with the Game Boy when it first launched? Tetris. That's what. Puzzle games and handhelds have gone hand in hand since the birth of the modern portable. So, with the most modern portable, the Steam Deck, making its way into homes now, I've compiled a list of a few of the best indie puzzle games you can play on it. If you don't have a Steam Deck, don't worry. You can play all these games on your PC, and some have even launched on platforms like the Switch. Also, this list isn't going to include any Tetris or Picross games. Y'all have played these games to death, and we know they're amazing already. Play something new. I'm begging you. Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon Shovel Knight has become the poster child for indie games, and there's a reason for it. Shovel Knight is a loving homage to the 8-bit era, revolutionized the indie platforming genre, and sent a bunch of baddies to their grave with a gardening tool. Not content with just platforming, this knight has dipped his shovel into puzzles as well, with Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, and this is a wonderful adventure. It's Crypt of the Necrodancer meets Match 3 Puzzlers, and it meshes together so well to make something unlike any game that's come before it. Pocket Dungeon has limitless variety too. Its adventure mode plays out similar to a roguelike. The items and bonus levels you find are random. When you lose, you start all over. You get upgrades and new items that'll help you in future runs. And there are multiple characters to unlock. Unlike Binding of Isaac where each character is basically the same but with a different loadout, each Shovel Knight character has a unique playstyle that makes playing as a new character feel like a brand new game. Adventure isn't the only mode available though. If you're a fan of head-to-head -head puzzles, you can take on friends or CPUs in the versus mode, and if you like having something new to play every day, there's a daily challenge mode for you to sink your teeth into. Also, you can probably tell that the music and visuals in this game are top notch. The art style has gone from a more detailed, saturated approach than the initial Shovel Knight, and the tracks in this game are remixes of the original ones. I won't lie, I listen to this soundtrack a lot, even when I'm not playing. Overall, I dig Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. You don't often see a character hop genres, but Shovel Knight has gracefully made the jump from platformer to puzzler and struck gold. Grindstone Ever wanted your puzzles to be a touch more violent? Then Grindstone is right up your alley. Play as George as he climbs his way up Grindstone Mountain, slaying enemies and collecting jewels along the way. The concept is simple. Chain together enemies of the same color to build up combos, and then you slice them apart. Big combos lead to them dropping grindstones, which you can use to further extend your combos. You'll also want to avoid stopping by angry enemies, as they'll attack you when you're done slicing up baddies. Grindstone is a game of methodical planning, and there's a satisfying feeling when you pull off an amazing chain. You'll also notice here that the art is gorgeous. I probably don't need to explain that, but seeing George and his enemies' animations always bring me so much joy. The music is phenomenal too, making this game an overall good time for all your senses. I haven't completed Grindstone yet, and at the rate Cappy keeps releasing new free content updates, I might never. This game is amazing enough, but the Grindstone team keeps releasing new levels, with the new Cosmic Dark Side update just launching recently. If you're looking for a satisfying puzzler with loads of content and cartoony gore, Grindstone is the gift that keeps on giving. You know how I mentioned that Game Boy and puzzle games go together like peanut butter and chocolate? The Game Boy aesthetic and puzzle games take that Reese's Cup formula and turn it into one of those fancy sunflower seed cups from Trader Joe's that I really like. They're richer, they're healthier, and you know what, this metaphor is getting away from me. My point here is that Pedal Crash looks like a Game Boy game and it runs on the Steam Deck. There's something about Game Boy style games that make them feel right at home on deck, and Pedal Crash is no exception. It captures the essence of the era so well that it feels like a lost game from my childhood. Couple that with easy to learn, tough to master gameplay, and a simple but fun story, and you've got a recipe for something wonderful. Unlike other games where you need to gently move your blocks around, Pedal Crash lives up to its name. Blocks need to crash into each other to be cleared, and the resulting explosions can trigger combos. This requires a good amount of planning, and nothing feels better when you pull off the perfect chain. Every good puzzle game needs some competition though, and the story mode will have you traveling across the world collecting flowers to grant your character's ultimate wish. Each character you encounter will share some banter, then take you on in a friendly duel for their flower. These CPU versus modes make for a compelling test of your crashing skills, and their story is light and fun. Note that if you're playing on deck, you'll only be able to take on CPU or local opponents, as Pedal Crash Online is currently not compatible with deck. Overall, Pedal Crash is a lovely homage to Game Boy era puzzle games with its own unique gameplay style, and it is a must play in my book. Deleveled 
I love it when games try something you don't see a lot of, and that's what drew me to DeLeveled when I saw it at PAX East in 2020. DeLeveled has you controlling two rectangles on opposite sides of the level at the same time. But don't let the simple art style fool you, this is a platformer built to make you think. DeLeveled has that same sort of feel Portal does. You have an array of ways to get around a level, you plan your strategy, and you reach the goal by using physics to your advantage. It also has that same feeling of satisfaction of solving a tough puzzle. DeLeveled is a deceptively simple looking puzzle platformer that will leave you scratching your head and then screaming aha when you finally beat each level. Princess Farmer If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love Pokemon Puzzle League. In that game, you can only move your pieces horizontally. But what if there were a game about vertical movement instead? What's that? Princess Farmer? Princess Farmer is a charming puzzle game where you make matches in gardens by uprooting and replanting produce. It's a mechanic unlike any other puzzle game I've played, but once I got used to it, it made for an amazing time. It offers multiple gameplay styles for players that might be more interested in different types of puzzle games, offering an action-based balance for players that want to race against the clock, puzzle-based balance for players that like thinking but not time limits, and a balanced option for players that want a little bit of both. Every level throws something new at you, Sometimes certain types of matches won't work, sometimes you aren't supposed to match certain vegetables, and sometimes you'll even battle a computer. Princess Farmer also offers a type of multiplayer I haven't seen much of before in a puzzle game. Co-op! You can add a partner and play together. Of course, there are versus options too, for all you battle bunnies out there. Matching is only half the battle though. As you go through your farming adventure, there's a story of self-discovery and evil bunnies, making this include visual novel elements as well. I'm usually not a fan of visual novels, but the cute writing, lovable characters, and gorgeous pixel art style drew me in. It also gets my award for gayest game I have ever played, with wonderful trans rep, inclusion of all kinds of gender identities, and lots of blushy bunnies. If you want a cute queer game that caters to all playstyles, Princess Farmer is a guaranteed good time. Puzzle games are truly the perfect fit for a handheld, and the Steam Deck has so many amazing choices. These are only five games that I thought were the perfect fit, but do you have any suggestions for any puzzle games on deck I might have missed? What have you been playing on your Steam Deck? Let me know in the comments! I also have more recommendation videos coming, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see them first. You can also catch me on Twitch if you ever want to join the fun live. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time! Bye!